Hey guys, Kev here, and I have an unboxing to do for you. So if you saw the previous video, something special happened and uh, Ben was so kind and he gifted me this little bro that was just escaping my collection. I have every other Jack Wolf knife release in the camo carbon or fat carbon that I, you know, of my choice. This was one of the earlier ones that didn't have, you know, had one option for carbon fiber. And um, I just didn't have this one because they got recalled and they're coming out again. But uh, they might come out in different materials. I don't know what's going to happen. Um, but I just didn't have one. And, and this this means so much to me. So, Ben, I love you, dude. Thank you. And this package is from Urban EDC Supply. Just listen to this. <laughs> I can't get enough, man. I cannot get enough. Oh, it's so, all right. So I uh, I bought some stuff from Urban EDC. Um, it came a little later than I was hoping because they had a gear drop that had this stuff in it. And I just, yeah. So anyway, doesn't matter though. This is a new combat beads driver. And I was really intrigued because they had G10, oops, they have G10 versions. I had a titanium one. But I saw the micarta ones, and I kind of wanted a black micarta. Oh, they really upgraded this right here. Oh, that's way better. Good job, Combat Beads. Good job. Good job listening. You know, I know it's not meant to be a fidget toy, but, like, it is. You know, <laughs> you know it is. Uh, we got some schmutz on there. You know, I know this stuff is going to get... Um, off colored because it's white g10 and that's the theme here today we got this combat beads driver in white g10 they're a 100 bucks which i think is fair i mean it still takes a lot of machining and all that stuff to put this together it's made in canada i believe and uh this is one of my favorite drivers of all time it has really good grip and that's what you need it's thick down here and it had so it almost has as much torque as a stubby driver all right i'm not gonna go that far but it has way more torque than a lot of the drivers I have. So I really wanted to have another one of these in the collection. And collection, god damn it, Kev. You collect bit drivers. All right. Anyway, there we go. Love it. Really cool. These may still be available. They may have the micartas. They may have the G10s. I'm not sure. There's going to be a link in the description with my affiliate link to Urban EDC. I can tell you after owning the titanium one, this is one of the best drivers on the market. It just is. If you're looking for one driver to like do everything, probably like most people who don't want eight, uh, this one's really good. Cause I always recommend you get this, the Weeha stubby driver for when you need a lot of torque, right? When you need to either crank something to get uh, it tight or to loosen something cause it's Loctited. I also recommend, you know, you use heat, like a, a blow dryer or something to get Loctite loosened up. But if something's too tight, that stubby driver gives you a lot of leverage. If you use a skinny driver and try to really torque it, you tend to like strip shit out easy. Well, this is the best of both worlds. It has a thin handle back here and then a really thick frag pattern grip up here. So you can get like two fingers on here and really crank on it. Um, but it still has the spinner on the back and it's long enough. And that's where the stubby falls short. When you're doing normal maintenance, not needing a ton of torque, it sucks because you have to constantly regrip and then you can strip shit. So it's best to have something where you can spin it in your palm like this. And this does both. So this is one of the best drivers on the market in my opinion. If you made me recommend one driver to do everything for you, it would be this driver right here. Combat Beads. And uh, I believe it's JW Knife Co. Collab. It's the V2 Precision Driver. Um, and this one's in G10 white. So there's a, oh, there's some bits in here. Comes with some Weeha bits, I assume. Nice. And they're the ones you need, too. That's cool. I think it's like T5 through whatever. And here's a sticker just so you can see their stuff Griffin Knife Company. Or sorry, Griffin Company. Yeah, they now, uh, I think they just released a knife, which is pretty cool. There you go. And they're made in Canada. I thought this was a collab with a knife company, but I could be wrong. And who knows, the guy could own both companies and I just don't know. So, 
Very cool. So that's white G10 with a black cap. Now check this out. Oh, here's that Urban EDC little swag card you get. Boom. You know what this is. I got another F5.5. This one, you know what it is. You know what it is. Don't even don't even question that shit, yo. Don't even question it. Let's see how cool it looks. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Get out my little bro again. Oh, so satisfying. Nothing beats that. So Riot made. So you're gonna get the um, the sealed package, which dangerous, especially when it comes to me. Never know what could happen. Now again, this is gonna get dirty, but I'm okay with that. Dead centered. <laughs> Why do I love the F5.5? Because it does that and then it does this. Nice smooth drop and I guarantee you, once I put KPL Heavy on this and that detent track wears in just like my uh, black G10 one, It'll be butter. I'm also going to put some skifferoons in here. So, yeah, that detent is crisp. Nothing wrong with that detent. Love it. Yeah, they've really learned to dial these in. No lash. Usually there's a little bit of uh, detent lash, like here. Yep, there it is. But that's okay. Um, pivot lash, I call it. Sorry. And that'll get uh, taken care of with the skiffs, probably. Um, but look at that. Stormtrooper. White G10, black blade. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. I knew this was coming, and I was really excited for it. And I will say, this DLC blade, I'm not a DLC guy. Um, I think it might be PVD, actually, um, from Riot. It looks like paint, usually, when you get it. But I've noticed that on this F5, at least the black one I have, uh, after carrying and using it a little bit, it kind of just looks like a, a black wash, which is cool. Um, very lightweight. That's what I really love about these. I know that a lot of people go, oh, it's G10 and it's $240. I know, guys. I know you think that. But the way that they finish this G10 is unlike what you see with other companies. It is extremely, like, sanded down or whatever you call it. It's got a little bit of grip to it, but it's nice and smooth. And it's just very very well done g10 i know that might not mean enough to to people and that's fine then it's not for you you know what i mean um m390 on the steel i would love to see them bring back some uh l max models um man that thumb flick on the f5 just never gets old so anyway i'll probably uh skiff this up some people ask me about blade swaps because now i have the hand satin with the um titanium frame and then i have the uh all black one with g10 and then this one but i don't know what i would do i guess i would put the satin onto the black handle this one would have to stay the same so i'd have to swap those other two maybe put black hardware Ooh, that could look good do a tux do a tux f5 Ooh, but i like the all black i don't know we'll see what happens um, but this is fantastic. Once again, just killing it. So we got a little Stormtrooper theme today. Coming from Urban EDC Supply. So if you guys are interested in any of this stuff, again, there's a link down below. I don't know if there's still some of these available. I'm guessing there are. I think the black one might even still be available. Uh, but they will sell through those. Um, so if you wanted to pick one up, now's the time probably and the link is down below if you're interested, but um, you know, you don't have to use the link. I'm not, you know, I'm not saying you gotta buy shit, like, but if you're like me and you love the F5, it's, to me, this one was a no brainer. Um, so now I have the Vader and the Stormtrooper F5. So I'm really excited about it. And we'll see how the coloring holds up. I don't hard to use my knives. I don't, you know, have a lot of grease on my hands. So like, I don't know how bad it could get, really. And then you could probably just clean it with soap and water or something. Magic eraser? I don't know. You guys tell me. 
But I'm going to get this home. I'm probably going to do a video swapping the uh, bearings because why not? Who, who doesn't need another F5.5 disassembly video? Let me know what you guys think. I love you all. Shout out to Urban EDC. Uh, they've been a really good uh, supporter and partner of the channel and Devo and everything. And um, yeah, love you guys. Hope you have an absolutely fantastic day. And I will catch you later.